Okay, we are going to do a how-to video. Now, I don't know how many bikes this applies to, but it definitely applies to Kawasaki Vulcan 500s and probably a lot of other Kawasaki models and may even translate to other models of bikes. But this is about your starter switch. Now, there is the start switch right there, and what happens is it ends up corroding. And you can actually, in this bike, it's not enclosed, you can actually crack open this housing and get into it and clean it and clean the contacts on it. On some bikes you may not be able to do that, but in this case you can, so this is pretty lucky. I'm not going to actually clean this switch, believe it or not, because I just did that, but there's an identical switch over here that activates the horn, and as usual with these switches, after a number of years, I can't honk the horn reliably every time. I have to push it multiple times to get the horn to honk, so this switch is identical to the one on the other side, so whatever I show you on this will apply equally to the starter switch, and maybe help you out with some other problems if you think your starter's not working, and uh, you think uh, it could be a problem from the solenoid or whatever, be sure and check and make sure it's not your starting switch. So first off, we're going to remove two Phillips screws back here holding the housing on. I'd already loosened them up a little bit because they were extra tight, so I'm just going to go ahead and pull them the rest of the way off. Okay, now here's the switch mechanism down in here. There's one screw holding it there, and there's one screw on the other side. I'm going to take off these two screws, and then the mechanism should come out, and I'll have access to the spring that causes this to retract and bounce back up, which is part of the contact, and there should be also a copper, maybe copper or brass, I'm not sure. I, I think it looks more like copper, a little copper button that it makes contact with, and that's where the corrosion tends to be on these switches. So we'll pull these apart, and then we'll get to the switch mechanism. Okay, now this one I can actually see dirt and lint piled up in the switch there. There's the spring. You can see the little spring down there that actually sits on this little button to the side. It kind of moved a little bit. And then here is the other contact right here that needs to be cleaned and you can see there is some corrosion too but to me it looks like the main problem is just tons of lint down in there that need to be cleaned out so we'll take that out do a good clean out what I usually do myself is I actually just take my pocket knife and I scrape the contact with my pocket knife Now the spring actually looks in fairly good shape. It's not really, sometimes the top of the spring can be because the contact is going from this part of the spring to this part of the spring and this actually looks in pretty good shape. So I'm thinking more and more on this switch more than the contact being corroded. I'm thinking it's just the lint and the dirt in there. Okay, here I'm taking the whole thing out and I'll take it over here in the light for you to see. I got most of the lint out but you can see there's still a huge amount of lint so I'm just going to use the little toothpick from my pocket knife and just clean out the rest of that lint. But the contact on this side actually looks pretty good. I'll still scrape it off just a little bit, but this side looks shiny, but the other side of contact is the one that looks pretty bad. Okay, now you should be able to see the surface is nice and bright and shiny and 90% of the lint is gone in there so now it's cleaning the other contact okay let's take a look it was kinda of dark and pitted now it's nice and shiny there are still a couple of little pits in places there but I don't want to go too crazy on scraping it down because there's just only so much material and I want it to work again. 
So now it's a matter of just checking the spring. Making sure it's okay. And now it's just a matter of putting the spring back down inside there. It actually goes this way. This part goes like this. And then it goes down into, if I can get my finger out of the way, the, the narrow end of the spring goes down into that other contact. And then reassembling it back together. So I'm going to have to do this with two hands. So I'll put the camera back down. Okay, so now all that's left is just to try it out and see if it works. Turn on the key, push the button. Works perfect. Hope that helped somebody out that if you have a problem with your horn switch or your starter switch.